Rampage Pro Wrestling feature match here. I'm excited, Mr. Barons. We're gonna see a main event anywhere in the country right here. Jimmy Rave approved. Often, his mouth overloads anything he can back up, and today, quite a challenge ahead of him. Well, this is a former TNA superstar oh versus a former WWE superstar Introducing right here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. And what a tremendous opportunity for both gentlemen. Pounds. This is the kind of match Jimmy that elevates somebody Rave. in the worldwide rankings of professional wrestling. Jimmy Rave against former WWE star Luke Gallows. And Luke Gallows, a huge individual, a man who is on a mission here at Rampage Pro Wrestling to make a name for himself. He's already done that worldwide. People know the man. He was affiliated with CM Punk formerly on WWE broadcast. And now coming here to the hotbed of Middle Georgia Pro Wrestling, Rampage Pro Wrestling. Jimmy Ray, a tough hombre, tough customer. He's got his work cut out for him against Luke Gallows here. Well, there's a lot of history. You mentioned CM Punk and the WWE. One of the greatest feuds in Jimmy Rave's career culminated in a bloody cage match at Ring of Honor Wrestling, and it was a long-time feud with CM Punk. There's an awful lot of history and bad and blood, and any association, any associate of Georgia, CM Punk is definitely no friend of Jimmy Rave. And Luke Gallows pounds. is definitely Please one of those guys, formerly of the Straight Edge Society. Gallo! around the ring the big man Luke Gallows the fans certainly glad to see him here one thing about Rampage Pro Wrestling as different from seeing Luke Gallows in say a WWE arena the fans get much closer to the athletes here and are able to actually come in contact with them I understand that Luke Gallows will be spending some time later on uh, in this broadcast after the broadcast goes off signing our drafts and talk to the fans well and by, by the way if you come to the Rampage Pro Wrestling tapings prior to the tapings you'll be able to get autographs usually for free from many of the stars of Rampage Pro Wrestling. Another reason to show up early well prior to the 2 p.m. bell time, enjoy the facilities at Johnny G's, and also meet the stars of Rampage Pro Wrestling. Now you see a very cautious Jimmy Rave now. Ripping in, locked up, collar and elbow. Good double behind into a uh, arm wing. Hammer like a pride, and it's Gallus backs him up to the corner. Referee would call for a break. Smart wrestling by Gallows. Look at how he immediately turns around. Rave had no opportunity to get an advantage on the experienced Luke Gallows. I first met Luke Gallows at Deep South Wrestling in McDonough, Georgia, when he was in training for WWE. Was impressed with him then. Became even greater impressed when he was called up to the show and became the star that he did. Now he's got an opportunity to get back and travel all over the world independently. Rampage Pro Wrestling, one of those early opportunities for Luke Gallows. And this man's traveling all over the world right now. He just got back from overseas and he's in high demand and he's right here this week and he'll be back in the future for Rampage Pro Wrestling. In fact, just finished a tour of Africa. At that time, Jimmy Rave, you know, Jimmy Rave's had some problems with that nose in the past and that's certainly a target for a lot of his opponents. And uh, Luke Gallus obviously did his homework on Jimmy Rave and popped him right in the face. Well, while they're getting along now, in fact, the gentleman who uh, last caused damage to the nose of Jimmy Rave was Sal Renaro. Isn't that interesting? A little RPW trivia there. Sal Renaro is now Jimmy Rave approved. And the fans are chanting for, for uh, Gallows to take full control here and just wipe the mat with Jimmy Ray, the man who has certainly made no friends in the Rampage Pro Wrestling fan area. And right now, Luke Gallows has been relatively controlled here, and you can tell Rave is a little bit off his game, but never uh, count Jimmy Rave out, one of the smartest wrestlers in professional wrestling, and he's laying those chops in, and Luke Gallows is saying, bring him on, and Rave better be prepared for the end result of doing that. He tries one more, and a little frustration showing on Jimmy Rave, and now Gallows comes in, Abdullah, Abdullah the Butcher-esque kind of punch. Absolutely. Uh, and Abdullah the Butcher never looked so good. Oh, oh an uppercut by Luke Gallows. And that could break a jaw right there. See how Gallows has those hands taped, and he's taking full advantage of that. Signifying and drops that leg across his chest. That could be a quick win here for Luke Gallows. Close count. The one would think uh, if you compare Luke Gallows to a man, say, Bull Buchanan, the RPW champion, uh, very similar size and structures there. Well, a lot of people sometimes wonder why do guys who are clearly as talented as Luke Gallows, why does WWE uh, take them off the roster for a period of time and actually having, as I have, worked at WWE several times during my career, one of the things they do 
is after a period of time, they will periodically send talent back out onto the independent circuit so that they can go to Japan, so they can go to Puerto Rico, so they can go to Mexico independently, but they're paying attention. The executives at World Wrestling Entertainment are paying attention to these performances and looking at the growth outside of their environment. One of the great realities is, is if you're always wrestling the same people, you can only learn so much. You get out away from that, you learn even more. And that's the process Luke Gallows is going through right now. And he's got a tremendous contest here with Jimmy Rave. And throwing those punches now left and right. Now it's Gallows coming off the ropes. Goes in, nobody there, Jimmy Rave got out of the way. Very smart move by Rave. Gallows had already committed to that particular move, couldn't stop himself, so had to take the impact without anything to break that fall. Jimmy Rave was the intended victim of that. And now Rave is up and taking clear advantage. And once Rave has an advantage, we've seen it before, he's relentless. And now stretching that jaw and that nose and trying to separate the face of the big man, Luke Gallus. Oh, and that punch right there. We've talked before about the fact that the uh, bones in the hand are extremely fragile, and that's why you don't see that many closed fist punches being used consecutively by professional wrestlers because of the risk of damage to the hand. And if the hand goes, you've got yourself at a serious disadvantage in a professional wrestling match. Now it's Rave dropping that elbow across the throat there. And outside the ring, certainly the fans are always there. Biting now, Jimmy Ray biting this man. Realizing that a wrestling match is not going to beat a man like Luke Gallows, you're going to have to outthink the man. Well, and Rave, a smart professional wrestler. And the other thing you're noticing as you look at Jimmy Rave, and as we've looked at him over the weeks and months here at Rampage Pro Wrestling, one of the things we've noticed is that he's also been spending a lot more time in the gym and getting into greater physical condition. True of all of the Jimmy Rave approved athletes. You may, again, may not like the team, but there's something about that group that brings out the drive to get better. And he is the general of that army. And they certainly are making their presence known in Rampage Pro Wrestling. Now on the ropes, literally, Luke Gallas, referee calls for a break. And now it's Rave coming off the ropes and caught him with a boot and Luke Gallas down to the concrete floor. And that's a big man, but that may be his chance to breathe. And Jimmy Ray might be smart to stay on top of this man because he's a man you do not want to get back to his feet. Well, and Jimmy Ray have a little bit of approval by the fans. The fans uh, may not like his tactics, but they have respect for the athletes in the Jimmy Ray approved group and for Jimmy Ray. But right there, Gallows fighting back to his feet on the outside, but Ray still on top of him, and Gallows still has a way to go before recovering after the uh, boot to the outside, tossed into the ring by Ray. And now Luke Gallus in the ring, followed by Jimmy Rave. Rave now steps over him and hooking those arms. We've seen this before. One of the Jimmy Rave moves, he does so well, and then tying the man completely up, cutting off the oxygen supply at the same time. Now this is a move that both he and Mike Posey have a tendency to use with great regularity, occupying both of the arms and simultaneously cutting the wind, using the uh, wrestler's own arms against them. And you can see the wrists go against the side of the throat, but Gallo showing that superior size and strength is able to power out and just jams both toes there. There's a way to break free, and he forces Wave back into the corner, and now he's starting to light him up. Hard chop now and again by Ooh. Gallows. That one could have taken his head off. Rave able to get out of the way of it. Shoots him across the ropes, charges in. That time, sidestep by Jimmy Rave. Hooks the legs, lateral press, tries to pin the man. Not enough. Two. Two, Jimmy. Be sure to watch Rampage Pro Wrestling on Fox 24, Cox Communications, My41 TV, and if you're watching on the internet, right here at www rampageprowrestling.net very much so you're going to want to watch the match exclusives that we're posting up there as well as the individual television programs that we post a lot of rampage pro wrestling news also go visit the facebook where you get regular updates on rampage pro wrestling and you can go like miss alley too she's our lovely ring announcer we see here we can week out always cordial with the fans if you come out that time charged in by jimmy ray caught with a boot by the big man gallus and a hard elbow Gallus now, phenomenal strength, clothesline, and another clothesline. The powerhouse that he is, throwing those clotheslines left and right. Jimmy Ray doesn't know if he's coming, going, or already been there. Gallus takes him, tosses him in the corner, follows in, catches him. He comes off, catches him with a rolling shoulder block right there, and he's got him down. Gallows is up to his feet, and he wants Rave up to his feet. He's not done with a little bit of punishment. Now he catches him. He's got him in a reverse full Nelson kind of maneuver right here. And here comes the Jimmy Rave approved team taking the knees and out of Luke Gallows. We've got a disqualification right here. 
Well, wait a minute. We've got a little bit more people paying attention to this match. Kyle Matthews is out. J-Rod is out. Frankie Valentine is out. Valentine, and they now clear the ring. Luth Gallows is in the ring. But this is not how we wanted this match to end. There's no winner in this particular match. Well, I guess they disqualified the Rave Approved team. And when you see one, you see them all. And the winner of that disqualification, Luke Gallows. Luke Gallows, the winner by disqualification.